Hello, my name is Garfield Smith. I am an entrepreneur and at heart I am an environmentalist. Um, today we're at uh, one of our properties where we plan to transform this property into a passive house. A lot of people, they may not know what a passive house is, but basically a passive house is a home where you get most of the energy, um, uh, the, the water, the food, everything that you can think of that you need to be able to operate the house and live comfortably will be uh, created right here on this property. So when it comes to energy, we're going to have solar. It's a three-family house, so we want to put a 15 kilowatt um, solar system. Uh, we want to have a rainwater capture system for the flushing of the toilets and for uh, maybe watering uh, the garden. Uh, we're going to use something called mini splits, which is an extremely efficient heating and cooling system. So we don't have to use a traditional uh, uh, gas burning furnace. We're going to use high efficient uh, water heaters um, to heat the water. So all of these uh, features translate into uh, being able to make the house extremely efficient and it allows you to create all of the energy directly on on site and this is what this is how you define a passive house so there are some criteria that you would have to meet from the passive house institute as well as the new jersey department of clean energy once you meet these criteria, uh, using a blower door test using energy modeling using um your 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 excel to 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 make sure that all of the numbers meet the uh, criteria. This is how you get classified as a passive house standard. This house is built in the early 1900s, so we have a lot of challenges in trying to meet those rigorous standards. But uh, as, as you're going to see in a moment, we plan to. So, to meet that. Um, in this particular project, it is for the urban community. Um, when you're uh, doing a gut rehabilitation, as we're doing, and in, in a city like this, you can see that all these houses are, are, are pretty close together. You can pan some of these houses here. You can see most of the houses are all close together. So we have to, in a situation like this right here, we have to think about it from an urban standpoint. And um, if this was a property where it had a lot of land, we could think about geothermal. Uh, which is a which is a very very efficient way of heating and cooling your house, but here it's just not practical. It's just not enough space. So we're going to use mini splits, and uh, mini splits work really really well in an urban environment because it doesn't require a lot of space. Uh, it doesn't require all of the duct work in the house. So this is not too much square footage here per unit. So it really utilizes the square footage of a smaller urban community a lot better um, as opposed to something like so geothermal. We are going to tailor this particular retrofit for uh, uh, this urban uh, uh, size home. gutted out to the brick and as we go into the dining area and in, in the front part you can see we're still in the process of gutting all of the debris um, so that we can put on so we can reframe it like over here as well as put in the insulation boards and then finally the insulation so here um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's being reframed so that we can put in the electrical, the uh, plumbing, as well as the insulation. So this is the, the very beginning stages. Um, I think it would be a great opportunity um, to come back and film some more 
when we are actually putting in the insulation. That's gonna give this house a nice R value. And R value is what we're gonna need to be able to qualify with NJ Clean Energy and the Passive House Institute as a certified passive house. Our goal basically is to uh, redefine how people live in their homes, make it more comfortable, make it more efficient, uh, make it more economical. You know, when you, when you don't see all of those bills from the local power company and you're able to actually grow some of your own food and it's healthier, it's cleaner, it's better for the environment and it just helps to the community to be a lot more sustainable. So this is our goal. This happens to be a gut, re gut rehabilitation, but we're also working with um, the city of Newark where we're gonna actually build from the ground up some passive houses where we're gonna use ICF, which are insulated concrete forms. So there's two ways to do this. You can actually do a, a retrofit and to get it passive, or you can build with insulated concrete forms, which are auto automatically, as you build, is automatically passive house standard once you build with um, the ICF system. So we're um, we're really excited about this, and um, we want to actually show the city, show the local government, show the homeowners that um, this is a very viable way of living for the future. And as this starts to catch on. We believe that um, this is going to be the building methods of the future. So we're, we're, we're very excited. Well, well, before I even met Tobias Fox, you know, I had uh, attended one of, one, of, one of his events in Jersey City, one of your events in Jersey City. And before then, I did a little research um, to find out ex exactly, you know, who you were and, and what you did. And um, I just thought that uh, it was amazing because uh, a big part of, of our initiative, and that's to build sustainable communities, is being able to have a sustainable food system. And being a part of the uh, Newark Sustainable Food System, it just helps to tie that whole um, area in. So when, uh, when we actually go and we look at building uh, new houses and look at uh, redeveloping that particular community, we want to make sure that food and gardening and, and understanding that whole part of it is integrated within to that whole uh, uh, building uh, part of the system. So, uh, we, you know, we know the importance of, uh, of, of growing your food, of having organic food, of, of having local food, of having the, the, the people in the community take ownership. Uh, in the local community gardens. So all of these things uh, we believe is going to help to uh, build and create these sustainable communities block, 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 block by block. So um, it, 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 it is essential.